Let's go back to the exam here. Use the mass of the puck as 0.17 kilograms. And the answer above, find the kinetic energy of the puck. Remember the equation for kinetic energy? Oh, I forgot question number nine. Oh, I got ahead of myself. I'm sorry. This is the answer to 10. This is the answer to 10. Let's do number nine. So number nine is kind of... Number nine is kind of the nirvana quite. I mean, is it not? Not smells like team spirit nirvana, but but um, you know, kind of the oh, that's how they do that. Calculate in case you've never done. All right, so we're to fall off the cliff from 125 meters, neglecting air resistance. How fast will they be going when he hits the ground? Okay, we're not asking you to com compute his. Uh, did we ask for a kinetic energy earlier? No. All right, so do you remember that formula that we use for when something falls? Oh, yeah. Okay, number 10. It's so many Christmas. I'm a mess. All right, so on question number nine, remember, one-half mv squared equals mgh. This was the energy before is equal to its final energy. So the M's cancel, and we came up with that cool equation, doing a little algebra magic. We came up with that cool equation that the final velocity is equal to 2GH, and then you take the square root of it. Most of your calculators nowadays will allow you to, to do, you can click the, the square root button, and your calculator will be flashing this thing. It'll look like this, and you can just go ahead and hit 2 times 9.8 times the 125, close, and then press enter, press equal, and it should work. All right, now let's look at problem 11, because we already did 10. I already talked about 10 real quick. How long is this exam? I think 28 questions, but most of them are pretty easy. Like this. I mean, it's straightforward. Find the kinetic energy of the puck. Question 11. Remember, 1 half mv squared. So, the answer you got, I'm always doing that. I jump right into, so it's one that is the kinetic energy. K times the kilo, 0.5 times the kilograms times the velocity you got in 10. Answer in 10 times the answer in 10 if you want to do it the longhand way. Okay. Because V squared is equal to V times V. All right, let's see what 12 says. Hockey player hit 17, 6 meters from the goal, neglecting any deacceleration. That was just for the physics folks out there. How many seconds did it take for the puck to reach the goalie? Where distance is equal to the velocity that you got in answer 9, or answer 10, times uh, the time, which we don't know. But we know the distance. We know the velocity in meters per second. Now you can find the time in seconds. Okay, so for problem 12, so for problem 12, D is equal to V times T. V, you found in 10. Okay. And then how do you get T by itself? You can do that. Right? You're going to divide both sides by V. So you get DV is equal to T. There you go. And that should give you a good answer in seconds. We have computed the kinetic energy puck. The goalie is from Finland, the best goalies in the world. And he catches the puck in his glove. The glove stops in 0 0.02 meters. That's the thickness of the glove. With, that, with what force did the goalie put on the puck to stop it? It's huge. I hate to be... The Donald there, because the guy kind of turns my stomach. But um, and for some of you that are Trump fans, I apologize, but not really. Anyway, so oh, here we go. I already told you force times distance. Now you find you found the kinetic energy up here in, in uh, question eleven. So here's your answer to eleven. You know the distance, so you got to find this force, and it's going to be big. So for problem 13, you take your answer in 11, 
which gives you the kinetic energy. And remember, kinetic energy is force times distance, which is, means the work. So you've got, you know the kinetic energy. You know the distance. This is known. And this is known. All you got to do is tease that guy out. All right. Cooking with gas. I'm going to go ahead and stop here now. Oh, sorry.